This hospice in Bury provides crucial end-of-life care, helping people and families when they need it most. But it, like every service, is now itself vulnerable as COVID staff shortages grow. Today, as we stand today, our hospice is open and, and we're doing well. But that is as a consequence of, I have to say, staff, volunteers, non-clinical staff, absolutely going above and beyond what's expected of them. So we review it on a day-by-day -day basis because it's, it's a changing environment for us all. This hospice is a charity. It doesn't get the same support as the NHS, where rising COVID cases and isolation amongst staff has spurred the government to consider how to manage if things get worse. On Boxing Day, the NHS in England had nearly 70,000 staff off work. The shortage has been driven by COVID, which now accounts for a third of staff absences. The government says it is looking at both best and worst case scenarios when it comes to contingency planning and by worst case that is up to one in four public sector staff being off because of COVID-19. And that doesn't just affect healthcare settings of course, it affects things like council services, getting your bins collected, it's affecting the police force and security and also public transport. Major rail operators have already cut services and some passenger groups are warning of worse to come. If, if coronavirus gets more and more out of control and the numbers do seem to be going up and up and up at the moment, we may see more people self-isolating and off sick and that may mean even more disruption and more delays and cancellations. I hope it doesn't, but, you know, um, predictions are very hard to make. But the minister in charge of these contingency plans says more restrictions are, for now, not amongst them. We don't think the data supports that at this stage. Of course, we keep the data uh, under review. But we've seen significant behaviour change as a result of Plan B. The, the widespread use of testing combined with the booster programme is the key way, as a country, we will, we will avoid the need for further measures. So far in this pandemic, we've seen the army bolster the NHS, council workers redrafted to collect rubbish and retired school teachers asked back to work. With cases rising again every day, what is currently a contingency might rapidly become a reality. Catherine Ovatotsi, Sky News.